This is a recreation of the very first Gilmore gas station. It's at the original farmer's market at the corner of Fairfax and Third Street. This is the real deal. This is one of the very first Gilmore gas stations and now it's also one of the last. So let's talk about why the Gilmore gas stations are important. In 1880, A.F. Gilmore bought some land at the corner of what's now Fairfax and Third for a dairy farm. When he was drilling for water in the early 1900s, he found oil instead. So forget that dairy farm, he started drilling for oil. The Gilmores were selling the crude oil, but they saw the potential for the automobile and gasoline, so they started refining the oil into gasoline. They opened their first gas station, and this was one of the first opened in 1935. At their peak, they had over 3,000 gas stations across the country, and they were one of the largest oil producers and retailers in the United States. They eventually became a subsidiary of Mobile Oil, and this became a mobile gas station. Then it was a Texaco, and then it was vacant for a long time. The building risked being demolished as so many other buildings were in the area. So a group of preservationists got together and this was designated as a historic landmark in 1992. So what does a developer do when he hears the words historic landmark? He runs as fast as he can in the other direction. Developers want to demo a property and start from fresh. So for most of the last 25 years, this building, which you can no longer see because of the car <laughs> or because of the UPS truck. So for most of the last 25 years, this building was vacant, empty and neglected. It would be rented out occasionally for movie shoots, but that was it. But recently, large corporations like Starbucks see the value in repurposing these historical buildings, bringing them back to their full glory and turning them into a commercially viable enterprise. So with all that history, let's take a look around this Starbucks. Some people call this an Art Deco building, but it's not. It's an architectural style called Streamline Moderne. Both design aesthetics were during the same time period from the 1920s through the mid 20th century. But Art Deco has a lot of decorative details and Streamline Moderne does not. Art Deco has hard angles. Streamline Moderne uses simple aerodynamic lines and smooth surfaces. Streamline Moderne was also a reflection of the austere times. Now remember, this was built in 1935 and the US was still in the midst of the depression. But this gorgeous design shows beauty in simplicity. What used to be the door to the gas station is now a walk-up window to order from. Next to the window is an outdoor patio. So I have my a Starbucks latte and a uh, banana nut muffin, so yum. <laughs> While I eat, here are some before and after photos. One of the unique features of this building were these two cantilevered canopies. The original canopies couldn't be saved. A truck had run into one of them. You can see the damage. So Starbucks recreated them. They continued this design motif above the drive through And speaking of drive through what better way to pay homage to a gas station than with a drive through <laughs> This garage door isn't the original, but it is a contemporary adaptation of a historical garage door. It is gorgeous and it shows how you can bring a historical landmark back to life. If you 
you like this video, then check out True Story of the Binoculars Building in Venice, California. I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.